11 o'clock kids and time for Count Floyd and Monster Chiller Horror Theater. <laughs> Saturday night, kids. Time for another Monster Chiller Horror Theater. Oh! <laughs> Tonight, we have that 3D classic, Death Motel. Ooh! It's a classic horror film. And this film, when it first came out in the 50s, they had a bell that went off in the theater whenever a scary part would come on so people could hide their hides. It was kind of like a warning system because the film was so scary. Now in this movie, Death Motel, it stars Woody Tobias Jr. as the hunchback. And who is he a scary hunchback? <laughs> and guess what, kids? We got a special treat for you tonight. Woody Tobias Jr. is going to drop by. That's right. Count Floyd's going to chat with him after the movie. He'll be a special guest, so don't you miss it. So now, kids, get out your 3D glasses and get ready for Death Motel. <laughs> Incidentally, if you don't have your 3D glasses, just send away to me, Count Floyd. Send $15.95 to me just to cover the postage and handling. And by the way, kids, send a check, a certified check. Make sure your mother has that check certified because Count Floyd's getting tired of dribbling your checks to the bank. <laughs> and now, for our scary 3D classic, Death Motel. This, of course, is the honeymoon suite. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. We've had some young couples leave here raving about it. <laughs> it's a little hot in here, though. I'll just open a window for All you. Right. That would be nice. It'll do just fine. Oh, good. I'll have Bruno show you around. Where is that guy? He's just here a second. Bruno! Ah! Bruno! Oh, oh, oh. It's all right. It's all right. Oh. Is he bothering you? Oh, he scared me. I didn't see him standing there. This man couldn't scare a fly. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry. Is he all right? Oh, no thanks to you. Well, have a pleasant day. Bruno, don't forget to leave some mints. Bruno. Sorry. Uh, that'll be all. Thank you. What? Oh. Oh, Wayne, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Honey, there isn't another motel for at least a thousand miles. Now, come on, we'll just stay here the night. We'll make the best of it, and then we'll get up and leave first thing in the morning. Oh, Wayne, why all the candles? Well, the manager said there was something wrong with the electricity. I mean, that's got to be the answer. And why all the crosses? Hey, why all the questions? Come on. You just get ready for bed, and I'm going to go into the washroom and slip into something a little more comfortable. <laughs> Would you get a pumpkin? I'm kind of busy in here. 
It's just Bruno. He was only turning down the bit. You've got to get a grip on yourself. Thank you, Bruno. Oh, all right. Here we go. There you go, Bruno. Thank you. Oh, Bruno, uh, one more thing. We're having a little problem with this window here, and we'd like to get it open for some fresh air. Would you mind? I'm sorry, honey. Oh, Wayne, you gotta get me out of here. I can't stay here a minute longer. All right. All right. Here. I'll go talk to the manager, and I'll get him to give us another room. Wayne! Wayne! Don't leave me! <laughs> honey, it'll be all right. Believe me. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Listen, I have to go to the manager's office for a moment, and my wife is worried about being left alone. Would you look after her for me? <laughs> he says you'll be in good hands, honey. Thank you, Bruno. <laughs> oh, Bruno. Just stay away. All right! Gin Rummy? Never mind. I don't want to play, really. out that window there was something scary out there oh it was chilling I, I couldn't quite make it out what it was but oh it was real scary Woo! Oh, oh! <laughs> what the fuck that was who booked that film last time I got a low budget oh, <laughs> oh that that Bruno was scary though wasn't he kids Ooh, that hunchback, he really, and guess what? We've got him here tonight as a special guest. That's right, we have Bruno the Hunchback, better known as Woody Tobias Jr. <laughs> How are you, Count Floyd? Good to be here. Uh, Hi, Woody. boys and girls. <laughs> Woody, I want to tell you, the, the whole studio is excited when they found out that you were going to drop by, because I'll tell you, you're one scary hunchback. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a living. <laughs> Oh, you know, you look so different in person. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, the camera makeup and so forth when you're doing films, Count Floyd. I don't make too many personal appearances anymore. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you've been around for a long time. Forty-five years, Count Floyd. Yeah, I, uh, I followed in my dad's footsteps, of course. Well, that was, uh, Woody Tobias Sr. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I remember him, but I'll tell you, a lot of you kids out there, you're a little too young to remember him. That goes back quite some time. Yeah, see, he was a great hunchback, my dad. He, uh, I had big shoes to fill, all right. <laughs> well, he had little stumpy feet, didn't he? He had normal feet. He, I mean, it's just a figure of speech, Count Floyd. Well, that's all right. Uh, just... uh, look, he was in that uh, famous hunchback movie, wasn't he? That uh, classic film. What was the name of that thing? Uh, it was the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Count Floyd. He was, uh, 
He was a Lon Chaney stand-in, of course, and uh, did all the uh, stunts. Did all of Chaney's stunts, of course. Climbing the ropes and uh, climbing church steeples and leaping roofs and so forth. I, I truly believe it was his greatest achievement as an actor. He's dead now, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. Well, uh, let's talk about you, buddy. Now, you know, when people talk about uh, horror films, the, when they talk of the genre, the, the, you know, the mi milieu of, of horror films, uh, certain names crop up. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, Bela Lugosi uh, and uh, Boris Karloff yes. and Christopher Lee and, of course, Woody Tobias Jr. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, Woody, uh, have you ever thought of doing anything else? Well, uh, I did, Count Floyd. I'm sure the boys and girls don't know this, but uh, in my early career, I uh, tried character roles, of course. Uh, I was with the uh, studios, and uh, Sam Goldwyn, of course, you remember Sam. Oh. He said to me one time, he says, uh, Woody, you're, uh, you're a scene stealer. My stars don't like it. Uh, you're too charismatic. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you couldn't miss that puss of yours up there on the street. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cat Floyd. You're too kind. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, in later years, uh, this would be the late 40s, early 50s, I, uh, I tried light comedy, of course, and, well, I used to get laughs on my entrances, uh, which I was pleased about, but uh, the films bombed at the box office, and uh, that was a sign to me that my fans wanted to see me back in horror films. <laughs> well, now, weren't you the romantic lead in one film? <laughs> oh, I don't think so, Count Floyd, no. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, I saw you. You were kissing a girl mm. in a romantic film. I don't believe so, Count. I was never a romantic lead. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well... We've been chatting with Bruno the Hunchback, better known as Woody Tobias Jr., a scary hunchback. And you can see him tomorrow night on part two of Death Motel, right here on Monster Chiller Horror Theater. Oh! 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 Like to have